Artists and creators of decades have always used the latest and greatest. That's what this is. This is the latest and greatest. But it all comes down to the creator behind the mouse, the creator behind the screen, the creator who's actually thinking about what's going to help communicate the big idea. It isn't necessarily about the latest and greatest. It's about the communication that's coming through there. We're just using the tools of the day. XR has already permeated culture and what you see in mainstream television and film, but we're seeing it in commercials where we don't even realize that we're seeing it. This digital world plays differently than, say, a blue screen or a green screen. It actually immerses you in the environment. There's a lot of XR stages that have been built during the pandemic. Everybody can have a car, you know, but something needs to fuel it. These XR stages are generic open canvases. This is a tool that you've got to put in the hands of people that know how to bring it to life. But what we're seeing is a, is a convergence of what our team has been doing for years, blending with new technology. It's like a superpower, being able to change the set and the environment just on the fly. What we're seeing is opportunities to use extended reality studios to enhance presentations, to enhance communications across an organization. You can layer these things together and tell truly immersive stories in a way that really couldn't have been done before. I don't think anybody can argue the value of it and the ability to put people anywhere and really create a memorable experience. It's gaining speed. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not a fad. This is the new, the new way to produce. <laughs>